In Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, the largest conglomerate of side quests in the game can be found in East Rogueport. The Trouble Center contains a bulletin board where up to 30 of the game's characters will request assistance with certain tasks. These troubles, when completed, yield a reward, normally a sum of coins or an item. Only one trouble can be taken on at a time, but the player can cancel his commitment by revisiting the center and coughing up a small fee. Despite this limitation, there's a way to cause trouble quests to overlap, and that's what I'm going to discuss in this video. After clearing Chapter 6, or more specifically, after the game's sequence reaches 281, Frankie's Trouble appears in the Trouble Center. This trouble, entitled Important Thing, is a request by Frankie to retrieve his lost wedding ring. Yep, again. The quest progresses like this. Talk to Frankie in West Rogueport to learn about the missing ring. Obtain the ring in East Rogueport. On the NTSCU and PAL versions of the game, it's located near the boxes outside Garf's house. On the NTSC J version, it's located on top of the thin wall that divides the two sides of the area. Returning the ring to Frankie completes the trouble, and the player is rewarded with a gold card. Now, this trouble is already noteworthy because the gold card allows for the purchase of Power Rush badges from the Pianta Parlor. This makes it a common trouble to see in speedruns, as the Power Rushes can be stacked to unleash significant damage to endgame boss fights at such low levels. There's another interesting piece of trivia here though. It's the only trouble in the game that requires a unique field item to be picked up in East Roadport, the same area as the Trouble Center. Now, normally when a trouble is cancelled in the center, all elements related to it are rolled back to zero progress. That means characters no longer reference it and any key items are removed from the inventory. However, Solidified Gaming discovered that if the ring is present in East Rogueport on the NTSCJ version of the game, it will not disappear upon cancellation of the trouble until the area is reloaded. Note that this does not happen on the NTSCU or PAL versions of the game, nor does it work with any items given to Mario by non-playable characters in the same area. This is because the trouble flags are checked during the interaction. If the ring is in East Rogueport, Frankie's trouble is cancelled, Another trouble is started, and the ring is obtained, it will set the flag for completing the second step of the trouble started. This means that whichever trouble is started after cancelling Frankie's will essentially have its first two steps skipped. For several troubles, this cuts down on some busy work. For example, Mick Goomba straight up hands over 20 coins just for talking to him in the safe delivery trouble, and Bub Alber only requires one hot dog instead of two in the trouble called the food I want. One trouble in particular that I want to highlight though is Swaps, titled Erase That Graffiti. This is the final mission on the board, and is only available after completing the game. All the player must do is destroy the graffiti in the Pit of 100 Trials, and then talk to Swab to receive a snow bunny. The graffiti is located on the 50th floor in the pit, making this trouble a pretty large time sink. However, by starting Frankie's trouble, talking to Frankie, cancelling the trouble, picking up the wedding ring, and talking to Swab twice in Far Outpost, he'll pass out the reward. This skips fighting all the way down to floor 50, making it by far the largest time save using this exploit. Plenty of other troubles are altered by picking up Frankie's ring, so I encourage you to mess around with them if you own a Japanese copy of the game. Thousand Year Door has many pretty interesting oddities, and I hope to cover some more in a future video. Thank you for watching.